Hey, welcome to the Five O'Clock Summer News. My name is Adam Burke. I'm gonna make you a delicious cocktail and talk about the news because once you hear that news, you are going to need a drink. This is a very special St. Patrick's Day episode of the Five O'Clock Summer News. Because it's St. Patrick's Day, we are of course going to make a traditional margarita. That's right, margarita. We're Irish, we're not monolithic. We don't only drink Jameson and our mother's tears. We're gonna make a ginger margarita, which is a great cocktail because it's one of those weird ones where the ingredients sound like they're gonna taste gross, but you put them together and they taste really great. It's one of my favorite things about learning to make all these cocktails. This recipe will be enough to make two drinks. First step with this cocktail, you're gonna rim your cocktail glass with salt. Just take a lime wedge, cut it in the middle, run it around the edge of the glass. Just wanna rub your glass in some sea salt. You can go ahead and chill those. Over the weekend, Democrat Stacey Abrams denounced a Republican bill aimed at restricting voting rights in Georgia as, quote, Jim Crow in a suit and tie. And what's wrong with a suit and tie? Said Tucker Carlson, probably. You gotta dress for the systemic racism you want, not the systemic racism you have. While Georgia Democrats argued that the measures unfairly target black and minority voters, Republicans in Georgia insisted that it's really about increasing security, specifically, job security for Republicans in Georgia. The bill aims to end ballot drop boxes and restrict no excuse mail-in voting to people 65 years and older. Hey, you know what else is 65 years old? Segregation. That's a cute little Easter egg for people with childhood memories of weirdly uncrowded water fountains. Republicans insist that the new measures are to combat voter fraud. And when Democrats pointed out that numerous audits found no evidence of that, the GOP said that doesn't mean that there won't be in the future. Sure, and while we're preemptively fixing imaginary problems, how about an anti-zombie bill? According to the TV, you guys are gonna be ground zero for that. Let's get a katana in the hands of every black woman in the state. Oh, you're not into that? Weird. Next, take your shaker, you want three ounces of tequila. Then two ounces fresh squeezed lime juice. Then two ounces fresh orange juice. Then just a pinch of lime zest. If you've never zested lime before, you basically just run the fruit across like a grater and try not to get any of the white part. You just want the colored part of the skin. In this recipe, they say simple syrup to taste. If you like it sweeter, you can add simple syrup later. I know I'm gonna need it sweeter, so I'm gonna add that now. Just a little bit, about half an ounce of simple syrup. After the governor of Colorado announced the statewide meat out day in an effort to reduce meat consumption, the governor of Nebraska responded by declaring the same date, meat on the menu day. Things got even more heated when Idaho weighed in with their controversial, either way, how about a nice potato on the side day? Nebraska's governor, Pete Ricketts, called the meat-free movement a, quote, direct attack on our way of life. Okay, but maybe if you went one day eating something other than beef, your last name wouldn't be Ricketts. Apparently, the meat-free day is causing anger even within Colorado, with both the Colorado Cattlemen's Organization and state Republicans shitting a brick over it. Or at least they would if their entire colons weren't impacted with 16 pounds of partially digested ribeye. There are several meet-in protest events planned across the state, with the event page for one saying, to hell with Governor Polis and the leafy greens he rolled in on. Okay, so you guys think you can roll in on leafy greens? Have you guys ever even seen a vegetable? Do you think there are vast herds of kale roaming wild across the western prairie? And if I told you there were, then would you eat some? Then add ice to your shaker. Shake that for about 10 seconds. If you want these over ice, add your ice to your glass now. Then strain into your cocktail glass. And top that off with ginger beer, not ginger ale, ginger beer. A new research study will test using the powerful hallucinogen DMT as a possible cure for depression. I think the plan is you take the DMT, you get visited by time traveling aliens, and then they just have better therapists than we do. If the study's a success, it means we could potentially have prescription DMT. The commercials are gonna be fantastic. Ask your doctor about DMT. Side effects include knowledge of all things. 
becoming an actual god. Conversations with your ancestors. Out of body experience. In of body experience. Rock your body experience. The quickening from Highlander. Teleportation. Telekinesis. Telesavallis. World peace. Pon Far. And of course, diarrhea. This comes at the same time as the District of Columbia passed a bill to decriminalize psychotropic mushrooms. I think they should go further. I think the DC cops should replace their pepper spray with mushroom spray. Imagine they had that on January 6th. You know how hard it is to break into something when you no longer understand the concept of physical boundaries? QAnon shaman would have been like, we're inside the Capitol, but more importantly, the Capitol is inside us. Give it a slight stir. Garnish with a lime. That's a ginger margarita, and this has been the five o'clock summer news. Cheers.